Hey there everyone, Friendly Neighborhood Webhead here, and I am undoubtedly sure that all of us are excited for Kingdom Hearts 3 as of right now. Ever since we got the orchestra trailer a, a few days back, well, it has been a surreal experience. The trailer has hyped us all to the point of insanity, and well, just when we thought that we would continue on with dry season, we got smacked in the face by Nomura, and he told us, here you go everyone, a new trailer. And well, it, it was just amazing. I, I really loved the trailer overall. And well, the best thing about this is that we are just 19 days away from getting another trailer at this year's D23 Anaheim. And I'm very excited to see what this trailer holds. But what will it exactly hold is the question. Here, you know, I'm just going to wait my thoughts a little bit here and there and see, you know, what comes to mind. The first thing to note here is that Nomura said in a Famitsu interview, which you can find in Cage13.com, that the trailer that we're going to get at D23 is going to be longer than the one we got at the Orchestra World Tour. And that is interesting because the one for the orchestra was, you know, uh, at most, I think it was 2 minutes and 42 seconds, right? And he said that it's going to be longer, the D23 one, I mean. And with that being the case, could we be possibly looking at maybe a three, a full three-minute trailer? Or maybe like three minutes, ten seconds, maybe? There is a lot that could be put in three minutes. I mean, just in 2 minutes and 42 seconds, look at all that we got in the orchestra trailer. And well, it's interesting to think about, and right now, that's one of the very curious things that's got us all, you know, intrigued. Like, how long exactly is this trailer going to be? Is it going to feature a bit more story? Is it going to feature a bit more gameplay? Maybe possibly, finally, some San Francisco gameplay? Since we haven't seen that world in action since it was revealed um, way back in 2015? Well, I'm not sure, but there's a lot that could be done in three minutes. And then there's the whole thing about a new world reveal. Now this is obviously one of the most, you know, important things to take note of for what's awaiting us on July 15th. Like, in addition to the trailer, we're going to get a new reveal of a new world. And I, I think, I think we'll see that world in action maybe in said trailer itself. Or I don't know if it's going to be like its own separate thing, you know, like how Roy Conley said, Hey, uh, I announced Tangled. Hey, I announced Big Hero 6. You know, something like that. But a lot of people are debating on what could possibly be the world that we'll, you know, that we'll get. And a lot of people have been saying Toy Story because of the, the way that Sora's silhouette uh, in the back at the very end of the trailer shows a Keyblade transformation. Uh, some people have compared it to Buzz Lightyear's uh, Astro Gun, while others have compared it to uh, more of a drill-like form, like the drills used in Atlantis The Lost Empire. And I find that very interesting, because if that proves to be the case, like, either way, I, I would be happy. If it's Toy Story, awesome. And if, it if it's Atlantis, it's awesome as well. But what we have to keep in mind here, though, is that this literally could be anything. But I'm really hoping that Treasure Planet is the world that is revealed. I have stated numerous times how much I want that film to be a world in the Kingdom Hearts series. And given that we had, um, uh, and you know, uh, inside Dream Drop Distance's code, there was coding for an apparent Treasure Planet world for that game. The fact that it was considered, at the very least, means that there might be a chance of it appearing in Kingdom Hearts 3. And if that's the case, that is just awesome. But as for what the world reveal could be, we literally have no clue. But most, you know, most fans, most of the community are going with the assumption that whatever the world is, it has something to do with that Keyblade transformation silhouette at the very end of the trailer. And that could very well be the case. But yes, I'm really hoping for Treasure Planet. And then there's the final information bit that Moore himself, you know, said at one of the concerts during that same weekend. He said he'd be revealing final information on the game. Okay, well, uh, the translator is the one who said that, and a lot of people are saying that was probably a misinterpretation. And if we take it that way, then maybe he actually meant he'll give us the latest information instead of final information. But if it does prove to be final information, then the only thing that I can really deduce that will come from this is a very big, you know, development 
uh, progress update and what we have all waited a very long time for, a release date, or at the very least, a release year. Look, if it's coming 2018, I'll be happy just with that. Just knowing the year will make me happy. And we have to consider the fact that since Final Fantasy VII Remake was nowhere to be seen at this year's E3, it kind of begs the question, since there has been no word, you know, on the game, like, to be shown publicly, other than, you know, a few months back it was said that the game was uh, shifted uh, in-house in Square Enix, because apparently there's a lot more work on it to be done, and with Kingdom Hearts 3 receiving so much, you know, uh, so much of the limelight recently, I think it is safe to assume that we might get Kingdom Hearts 3 next year, we might finally get it. And I think that this final information that Nomura is talking about is the release date, or as I said again, a release year. And if he does go with the release date after all, it could probably be March of next year, since March is the anniversary month of the Kingdom Hearts series. And uh, at March next year would be the 16th anniversary. and. Well, if that were the case, then let me see. That would be August, oh, September, October, November, December, January, February. It would be like seven to eight months, a seven to eight month gap uh, between you know the announcement of the release date and the release of the game itself. And this is all based on the assumption if we do get a release date. Because for all we know, we, we may not get a release date. I, I don't know. But the way that Nomura has pilfered, you know, the way he's tinkered with this information, He's been hyping up a lot of what we're going to see on July 15th, so I would really like to believe that we're going to get something big. And however it goes, I'm just happy that we don't have to wait another year to get a new trailer for Kingdom Hearts 3, because I think this is the closest we've ever gotten, you know, to having trailers so close to each other. Like, it is just awesome. I am counting down the days, it feels so slow. But yes, I think... That final information may be a big development update and a release window. So that could probably be it, but then again, I could be wrong. And well, at this point, there's really not much else, you know, that we can deduce uh, about what's going on with Kingdom Hearts 3 and how it's going, you know, to be presented to us on July 15th. Oh, something that I'd like to point out, though, is that I think that we might... You know, in the new trailer, we might see the game look even better than in this trailer, because I believe, uh, let me see, I, if I'm not mistaken, Jose Alamo, the, the guy who had, who had talked about, uh, some leaked information and whatnot, uh, he said that the trailer that was supposed to be shown, uh, on December last year is apparently the one that was shown in the orchestra. If that is true, then that means that that trailer is old and that is old footage that we're looking at. So that means that whatever trailer, whatever form the trailer takes uh, this July, it could very well be that we will see even even more progress made. Like, the models will look even better, the combat will look even flashier. I don't know. And, well, I don't know, it's just, oh, I'm so excited! But anyways, what about all of you? Are you all excited for what's coming next month? Are you, you know, anxious? Are you, like, hanging on to your seat? I know I am, and it, it's just going to be awesome. I cannot wait for that epicness that's going to be July 15th. It's going to be a day to remember for the Kingdom Hearts community in general. But anyway, so let me know what you thought uh, about, uh, you know, the orchestra trailer in general, and, you know, what you think is going to appear in the D23 Anaheim trailer. And well, if you like this video, please make sure to subscribe. Anyways, this has been Friendly Neighborhood Webhead, signing out.